Hello everyone. This video is going to be more informational than anything, but of course I'll put out some eye candy on the table to look at while we're having a quick chat. And also I want to mention I am not personally attacking any of the websites I mention in this video. I just want everyone to have the information and the knowledge to protect themselves and to give suggestions on how companies can improve their public images by giving public earnest responses when the worst possible things occur. But I, I want to let everyone know, in case you haven't been made aware already, that about a month ago, Blade HQ was hacked. And now by hacked, I mean that customer credit card information was skimmed from their site. So now Blade HQ did let some people know about this about a month ago, late April or so. But essentially, it turns out that the card information was being stolen from the site beginning in January of this year. So if you haven't heard of this yet, you may want to check your transactions on any credit cards that you've used with Blade HQ in that time frame. Many people in the knife community when this happened were really upset over this with Blade HQ. And really it's not because they were hacked, you know, that's just a part of being an internet retailer. You know, these things do happen from time to time. But what really makes a difference is how a company responds when things like this happen. So now in April, when Blade HQ started to let people know what happened, they didn't inform all their customers of the hack. I'm not sure if they only informed customers who they knew were targeted or had some other criteria to let that kind of information out. But I know that during this hack time frame, I made three purchases with Blade HQ, and I never received any notification, any email that this data leak occurred at all. Luckily though, people who were notified started to post the information they received from Blade HQ on Reddit's Knife Club, um, as well as I saw it on Blade forums. So I'll put that up here and you can see the direct message from Blade HQ about their hack. So like I said, these things do happen, but what did Blade HQ do about it? You know, how did they respond to the community once the information about this hack was out there? You know, they basically said, you know, we will try not to let this happen again. Please go cancel your credit cards. That's it. You know, that's not much of a response. They refused any real public response to the problem and wanted any people who were affected by it to call their support line with questions, you know. And so this is something that could have potentially affected me. And that's not very useful. You know, I have no desire to make a phone call to some random person from Blade HQ just to find out some what should be basic, you know, public information. You know, there was no social media posts acknowledging the issue, no public statements as all, at all, as far as I can tell. You know, no explanation as to why some customers were notified about the problem and others were not. You know, I get it. There are people out there who would expect a company to go so far as to, you know, give us free credit monitoring, give us some other type of service or freebie since this happened. You know, I, I know Blade HQ is not a huge company. They don't have, you know, unlimited bank accounts to be doing that for everybody. So it's probably just not feasible cost wise. But that being said, to not even publicly acknowledge a problem, that's an issue. And that, that's just bad juju on Blade HQ's part. The fact that they didn't publicly post this, publicly acknowledge it, they only sent the information out to a very limited number of customers. Not cool. And Blade HQ is not even alone in this. You know, my card information before was stolen twice when I was shopping at gpknives.com. And when I let them know, they swore up and down there were no issues. And it turns out, of course, it wasn't GP Knives' fault that that happened. You know, their payment processor was hacked. And uh, they never devolved that information. They never gave out that information publicly to anyone to protect their customers. And it took research on my end to go try and figure out what happened with their payment processor. You know, nothing from GP Knives. It was just me doing the research to figure out what happened. That being said, though, since this hack, you know, I've already placed two orders with Blade HQ. So I'm still going to shop there, of course. And I've placed many more orders with GP Knives. And I, I don't worry about it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I protect myself when any of this stuff happens because I use a particular service. And I know this is going to sound like an ad or something, but I swear it's not. I'm just telling you what I do to protect myself when a company gets hacked and credit card information ends out ends up on the internet somewhere. I don't even think twice about it because um, where I, whenever I do any of my shopping, I use one of two services. Number one, I use PayPal whenever I can. And for sites like knife sites that often don't accept PayPal, I use privacy.com. 
Again, this isn't an ad. <laughs> uh, but basically what privacy is, they're a virtual credit card service. So it's, it's tailor made for situations like this. So in the simplest terms, you know, you link your checking account to privacy and then they create a virtual credit card number that you could use to do all your shopping online. And so the way it works is every website you shop at gets its own individual credit card number. And once you use that card as a site, say Blade HQ, it locks onto that site. So onto that one merchant. So you can, that card can never be used anywhere else. So even if your card gets stolen from Blade HQ, they can't go use it to go shopping anywhere else. It's always going to be a Blade HQ only card. Um, they have a lot more options like that you can set into place. You could put spending limits on each card. Um, you can make a credit card single use only. So after it gets used once, it you know basically gets disabled. Um, but having these safeties in place are what are what saved me when GP Knives got hacked. You know, because on that particular site, you know the card I used there. Um, I woke up to an email showing a bunch of fraudulent charges from random websites, uh, but they were all immediately declined. So not a single one went through because that particular card from privacy was locked onto GP Knives. So when they went to the other sites to try and use the card, it just didn't didn't work. You know, they still notified me and let me know through privacy. And uh, at that point, I was able just to turn off that card and shut it off and make a new one. Um, but zero money out of my pocket, zero concern on my end. You could just ignore it and move on with your day, move on with your business. You know, it's really super simple. Um, so if you happen to be a Blade HQ customer uh, between January and April of this year, you know, if you aren't using a privacy service or anything like it with a virtual credit card number, you know, go close that credit card now just for your own sake, for your own you know safety. Um, open up a privacy account if you don't have one. You know, totally free, totally worth it. Um, again, I'm not, you know, um, pimping their service or anything like that. I'm not even going to put any Google links or affiliate links or anything like that. If, like if you want the information, go search it out. You can Google all this stuff. I'm just sharing what I do to protect myself um, because I want to help everyone out there who was affected by this breach. And of course, it's going to happen again because hackers are out there. They want to get their chunk of your change and um, you can protect yourself for sure. But before we leave, though, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm not posting this video to really call out any companies, either Blade HQ, GP Knives. I don't blame them for anything. Hacks happen. It's all in how they respond to those hacks, which will determine how the public views them. But on my end, I just want to share how I protect myself. And I think the public should be given this information from those companies as soon as they find out about the hack. Not just some customers, they need to publicly post it. These companies all are experts at social media and it should go out on their Instagram, on their Facebook, anywhere else where they think people can see it so that we can get as many eyeballs on the, on the situation as possible. Because it's not a bad thing to get hacked, it's, 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 it happens. As long as you protect yourself, that's what you gotta get better at. So any of you watching out there, were you impacted by this hack? Has your credit card information been stolen in the past couple of months? Did you shop at Blade HQ in that time? So um, have you heard about this hack already? Because it happened a month ago. I just was kind of slow to thinking about making a video on it. Um, so did you hear about this? Is this new information? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And of course, best wishes to everybody out there. Thank you for watching. Um, again, I would love to read your comments and what you think about Blade HQ and this situation. But have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.